If you don't already know, pre-workout is an amazing thing that you should be taking. And if you're not, well, you should. But today I'm gonna tell you about the worst pre-workout that I think I've ever had. And it's not because of the flavor. I stopped taking pre-workout a long time ago, mainly because I already consume a lot of caffeine as it is throughout my day, whether it's caffeine pills, monsters, um, coffee, anything else that really typically has caffeine. So adding more caffeine because of the pre-workout would just, I'd probably die from it at one point or another. Like, let's be honest, that's a lot of stimulants. Over the last year, I've bought a couple different types of pre-workout that were stem free, caffeine free. And this last one that I bought was probably the worst one I've ever had, mainly because I don't think it's doing anything. It's supposed to help me with cognitive function, blah, blah, blah. I have not researched any of the dosages to see if they're 100% accurate. Hey bro, I'm trying to make a video here. Now I haven't checked the dosages to see what the minimum is for these ingredients to actually be effective. But I can tell you right now, I don't really think they are. Just from trying it out. I can be completely wrong. It's doing something. I'm just not feeling it because it's a stem free pre-workout. And I don't think I like that. I think this is why I'm going to consider this the worst pre-workout that I've ever had. Actually, that, that may not be it. There's another reason why. As you can see, it says highly dosed product is known to have to harden slash bond. This is normal. Forge will dissolve instantly in water. There we go. That is a big issue for me just because I don't like that it bonds, hardens, whatever you want to call it. I gotta scrape it out, you know. I don't think the actual ingredients are mixed in very well. They may, they may be, I don't know. I can't mix it up because I gotta break everything apart and then it's gonna harden like, you see that? This is why I think this is the worst pre-workout. So we have, for a full scoop, four grams of citrulline malate, two grams of just regular citrulline, beetroot extract, two grams, hydropime, two grams, taurin, two grams. I'm pretty sure this is not enough. Like most of these ingredients, I want to say require three grams and five grams. I can be, I could be completely wrong. I could be 100% completely wrong. It's safe to say that this is not the pre-workout that I'm gonna be buying once it's out. It's just not for me. Let me know what you think, and if you tried this, let me know what you thought about it. Did it work for you, did it not work for you? I don't know, just let me know.